The Room Next Door is a new movie by Pedro Almodovar. This guy's been a filmmaker for, what, almost 40 years? Uh, he's been at it for a very long time. And this is his first movie in English, following like a recent string of shorts, one of which had Tilda Swinton, who is one of our leads here. Julian Moore is this author who just published a book about dying and how petrified she is of it. And Tilda Swinton has stage three cervical cancer and has kind of accepted her fate. After the two women catch up with each other, they decide to hang out more often and agree to one last little trip upstate New York in a forest setting. And these two women's relationships are going to be tested more than ever. So yeah, this is like the filmmaker's 24th movie. I've not seen all of Pedro Almodovar's movies, but I've seen a handful and I've greatly enjoyed them all. His two recent shorts, both The Human Voice and Strange Way of Life, was not really quite into. I can appreciate a filmmaker who has been at it for this long, still wanting to experiment, but they weren't quite to the standards of his recent movies, uh, specifically like Pain and Glory, that was excellent. Luckily, with the help of two high caliber performers, this feels like one of his movies and it's very elegant. The flashbacks on here especially bring back that overtly melodramatic mood that Pedro does on his movies and it worked very well. I wish there were more scenes like that on this movie because for the most part, since this is a movie about death, it is very serious. It's also based off a novel called What Are You Going Through by Sigrid Nunez. Interestingly enough, at the New York Film Festival and also getting released later on in the year, there's a movie called The Friend, which is also a Sigrid Nunez adapted novel. I've not read any of her work, but I can tell from a movie like The Room Next Door that the themes in the book were probably very deep. In terms of a movie, I don't really know if it hit such heights, but it definitely tries. There are a lot of poetic one-liners, many of which are great and complement the canvas very well. And the cinematography is very still and pristine. There's a lot that is on the image, like all Pedro movies, they're very colorful, and this one is too. I really like the sphere-looking house that both of the women were in throughout this movie. It almost kind of reminded me of a Hunter's Point library in Long Island City. It doesn't quite look like that, but such a modern looking building. There's also a great score by Alberto Iglesias, who has done many Pedro Almodovar movies in the past. Once more, he comes through with something very elegant. I will say though, if you are not all too compelled by the performances here, there might not be so much for you on this movie. I only mention this because the woman next to me was asleep the whole time. And I don't want to blame the movie for something like that. I mean, the fact of paying a premium price at a film festival to see a movie and falling asleep during it is crazy, no matter what. I do want to point that out because it's not really a challenging movie, but if you're not really willing to involve yourself too much with the story, then it might just go right through you. Personally, I thought everyone was good, especially Tilda Swinton, who has, like she usually does, a real hat trick. And I thought they brought these characters to life. They're not quite... Penelope Cruz and Antonio Banderas, but I think these two leads hold true to the Almodovar formula. John Turturro is also on this movie in a small part. Uh, no diss to him. He's fine. Uh, they could have really done whomever as that performance. So this is a confident English language debut from this filmmaker. I could definitely see him do more work like this. Although I will say I'm way more enthusiastic to watch another Spanish movie by him whenever that is announced next. So I would give this movie a 7.5. The Room Next Door is released by Sony Pictures Classics. It will be coming to theaters December 20th, 2024. Thank you for watching.